to China. Welcome back to Life for Pretty. Welcome back to another day of your daily Hershey Park vlog. Today is a very busy, busy and full crowded day at the park. Today is not a good day to come to the park. It's too crowded. And when I say over thousands and thousands and thousands, we mean exactly that, thousands. Today is a concert in the park and the artist is Thomas Rhett. And when I say all oh, parking lots are full, even the grass and inside the park and outside the park, here at the Giant Center and Hershey Park, it's packed. There is no way you're getting a parking spot today. And because of that, it is so full. I've never seen a park or Hershey Park or Hershey Grounds so full like we've seen it today. You know what to do if you're new, smash that subscribe button. Don't forget to smash that like button and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss no videos here on our channel. But let's get to this video because it is crazy today. Today, we started on a late day. We came in here late today because we had the groceries. We had the summer stuff at home. So we got in the park late today. But today's vlog today is a frozen spoon review. So today we're here in the park to do a review on the frozen spoon. Lots of you asked me for this review in my Instagram. So I'm going to give you the review. And the review is today. Right now we are at the Dotty Rancher. The frozen spoon is a survey truck that's right by both Dotty Rancher rides. And it is something that Hershey Park added to the Dotty Rancher land. We're going to try the flight, which is all four flavors. It is green apple, grape, blue raspberry, and cherry. So we're going to try this flight. It's a review today. Plus, we're going to get on some rides, but uh, let's get this review started. We're going to do the review first, then we're going to get on some rides. We have three hours to spare in the park because we did get here late, but it was treacherous getting in here. It took me about 25 minutes to get into the parking lot because the, my God, the traffic on the street and all that was, it was just too much. But hopefully when we leave the park, it is not that bad. So we're at the Frozen Spoon right now. So let's go in line. Let's order our flight and let's get this taste review on the road guys so we can get on to rise let's go guys okay guys so we got our flight we're about to sit down and eat our flight we want to eat this before it melts because it is hot today so we are trying to hurry up and get this review done and for you guys because you can see and it's hot we don't want our flight to melt before we even get to taste it so let's go get to this review i want to show you what the flight looks like here is our flight this right here is the blue raspberry right here is the cherry Here's the grape, and green, green apple. apple, and then you get this beautiful whipped cream on top, as you see there. And then all these little dots that you see here, that is the Jolly Rancher pieces. So you get all four flavors of the Jolly Rancher sorbet, plus all the four flavors of all four Jolly Rancher pieces on top of your sorbet and on top of the whipped cream you see here. Now, also that comes with this flight, you get spoons, as you can see, and they change colors. So this is pretty neat. You see, look, look at this, pink and purple. My spoon turns into my favorite colors as if this sorbet as a Jolly Rancher and Hershey Park made this sorbet just for me. As you see, look, my favorite colors. So we got all the flavors, so let's get to this review. Me and Asia are gonna test the sorbet and we're gonna let you know what each flavor tastes like and if it's a yay or a nay. So let's get to this review, guys. We are gonna eat our Jolly Rancher sorbet and we are excited, so let's go, guys. This is our sorbet and we're gonna show you and tell you what it tastes like. Now, you have to excuse us because we are rushing at the door thinking we're not gonna make it in time to get into the park and I forgot my tripod. I forgot my charger, I forgot everything today. So we are kind of doing a makeshift kind of tripod <laughs> it's just a mess the first flavor that i'm going to do is the grape and then i'm going to do the cherry asia has the raspberry and the green apple but on and all we're going to taste all of them together to see what her take is on all four flavors and what my take is on all four flavors are you ready asia to do the review yeah okay get your spoon asia got the yellow spoon i got the pink Seven. spoon What is yours? With the Jolly Rancher candy, that tastes banging. Yeah. What is it? What is your which one did it taste? The, the blue raspberry. raspberry yep. Does it taste good? It tastes really good. It tastes good. She's going to try the green apple. And after she tries the green apple, I'm going to try the grape. 
Is it good? He's not told me, is it good? <laughs> he likes it. Okay, I'm trying to grape. Grape, here we go. Oh my god, the grape is my favorite! Okay, I'm gonna try the grape now. The grape tastes like the Jolly Ranch when you're going through the ride, don't it? <laughs> it's really good. Did you try cherry? Try cherry. You don't like the cherry that much? I like the cherry, but you didn't like it that much? Okay. Let me try the green apple. The cherry's not. I mean... It was, mm. okay. it was okay at first, but... The green apple, surprisingly, is really good. I didn't think I was going to like that one. That's really good. I'm try the blueberry. Mm. Let me try whipped cream. It's good. Their whipped cream is good. I don't know, but these um Jolly Rancher pieces that they put on here are good. Make the sorbet taste like phenomenally good. Phenomenally good, like no lie. It is really good. Now let me try with the whipped cream. I'm gonna try like I'm gonna try cherry with the whipped cream. Mmm. Okay. It's good. The whipped cream is good. I got Jolly Rancher pieces falling out my mouth, seriously. No respect. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. I am going to put all four oh, flavors together on a spoon and try it that way. So I got grape here. I got grape. Cherry. Hold on. Blue raspberry. And last but not least, whipped cream. Green apple. But I'm gonna try it without the yeah, I'm gonna try it with the whipped cream. I'm gonna try it fresh without the whipped cream. Alright, ready to go. <laughs> Hershey and Dolly Rancher got two together. Yeah, I put this out the park. I think it's phenomenal. All four flavors. If you come here, you get the flight. Try all four flavors together. You will not regret it. Trust me. Now I'm gonna try all four flavors with the whipped cream. And I'm just eating my favorite flavor. <laughs> Ready? I'm hard, bro. This is so good. Oh my god. The for real, actually, bro, all of it go off. The Jolly Rancher like candy like gives it another kick. The Jolly Rancher candy gives this survey another level kick. It's like really good. And when you combine all them together with the whipped cream, it's like phenomenal out of this world. It's like amazing. Like, oh my God, this is like so, so, so good. With all four flavors, incredible. You know, what I'm sitting here thinking is, if they would have added the watermelon and the pineapple, I really would have wanted them to add the watermelon and pineapple. I really would have wanted to know what those taste like with this and the whipped cream and like all the four flavors together with the watermelon and the pineapple i think the watermelon and pineapple would have been thrown at the park i think it would have been so good and so great if they would have made that so Hershey park if you're listening to us and you're watching our video right now and our review please we beg you okay come out go in the in the little lab that you have okay your little Hershey park lab your Hershey chocolate lab, your Hershey factory lab, you know, where you concoct all this stuff <laughs> and make the pineapple and watermelon. We want to taste that too. Because if this is out of the world crazy good, I could not imagine what the watermelon and pineapple tastes like. You gotta listen to me. I know you watch my videos, I know you do. So you've got to like listen to what we're saying and bring the watermelon and pineapple. Come on, people, I know you're listening. Bring it, I need to taste the watermelon and pineapple. And me and Asia can be your personal taste testers. And we'll let you know. And I know it's gonna be good, so with your eyes. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, we are gonna finish this up. This is really good. Me personally, I will get a Jolly Rancher survey, 10 Jolly Ranchers. So that is 10 out of 10. So if I could give it a 20 or 100, I'll give it 20 or 100 Jolly Ranchers. But there's a zero 10 category. So I give it 10. Jolly Ranchers. That is all four flavors for me. I like them all. I, I love them all. Now, we're going to give Asia what she gives 
for each one. I give each one 10, 10 for all of them. 10 for the blue raspberry, 10 for the cherry, 10 for the grape, and 10 for the um, green apple. So we're gonna turn to Asia. Asia's gonna go on the camera and she, Asia's gonna tell you what she gives for all four Jolly Ranchers flavors. I give 10 for each one. But there she goes. How many Jolly Ranchers will you give for the taste test review? For the cherry, 9.5 out of 10. Okay. Green apple, 10 out of 10. Great What about with the whipped cream and the Jolly Rancher pieces on top? Uh, with all the flavors besides cherry, it's good. Okay, it's good. You like it? Okay. So that cherry, she gives a 9 out of 5 to cherry. She didn't like the cherry too much. But she did like the blue raspberry, the grape, and the green apple. Which, cherry didn't do so bad for you then. Because 9 out of 5 is still pretty good. 9 and a half, nine and a half Jolly Rancher is still pretty good for a score. Now, if you would have said one or two, then I would have been like, ah, oh, yeah, lost. <laughs> but, but cherry did pretty good. It's pretty good. I like all of them. So, if you are here in Hershey Park and you come over to Jolly Rancher Land over here, go visit the Frozen Spoon right in front of the Jolly Rancher Mix. And it's also right across from Chicken Pete Fries. So, just come over here, give them a visit. If you don't want to try all four flavors, try whichever flavor one that you like the best and just try one. And if you like them all, then try them all. Now, if you get one single flavor, which is one cup, it is $4.95. So that's cheap. That's cheap for a snack here in Hershey Park. I've seen snacks $10, $11, $15. I mean, but this is really good and really cheap. I mean, I will buy this 10 times over. The flight is $8.95. So you get $8.95 for the flight, $4.95 for just one single serving. That's your prices for the Jolly Rancher survey. If you like the Jolly Rancher today, and you like Jolly Ranchers, and you love the Jolly Rancher candy, you will love this flight. And you will love the survey. I'm telling you, take my word for it. You know I never lied to you guys. Please come over, taste this flight. Taste the survey. It is so good. We love it. I mean, she like she gives nine out of five out of for the cherry. I give it 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 40. <laughs> you know, 40 Jolly Ranchers for my review. But this will complete our review for today. So we're gonna try to get on the Jolly Rancher, we're gonna try to get on the bear, and we're gonna try to get on the super duper looper right now. Okay, so this completes our review of the Jolly, Jolly Rancher Frozen Spoon. It is a 10 out of 10 folks. Come over to the Jolly Rancher land and try out your favorite flavor of the Jolly Rancher survey or try the flight altogether. So that completes our review. So we're gonna hit the park, we're gonna go hit the Jolly Rancher remix, the Jolly Rancher mix, the line is too packed as always. We can never, right, lately we cannot hardly get on that ride because it's so, so packed. So we're gonna hit the Jolly Rancher ride, which I know doesn't have that much people in the line. Tomorrow we're gonna be here early in the morning to do a boardwalk day. And we're gonna come with Deja, Deja's gonna come in, Katie's gonna come in. We are gonna have this day for us, we're gonna have a whole full day of laughs and fun and jokes and all day. So look out for that video on Sunday because we're gonna vlog that tomorrow, which is Saturday. So you're gonna look out for that video on Sunday. But let's go, you wanna get on sunrise before it's too late and the park closes. Okay guys, so we got in the line here at the Jolly Rancher. The Jolly Rancher is showing about a 20 minute wait. The line is not that full, which is a good thing. So we're gonna try to get on here. We're gonna get on this ride and the line is moving kind of quickly, so it's not that long of a wait. So the line is moving kind of fast. So as soon as we get up on top, we're gonna get on the ride. We're gonna tell you how many minutes you waited when we get to the top. But right now it's showing a 20 minute wait from where we are right now, where we're standing there right now. We're gonna let you know once we get to the top, how many minutes we actually waited for the ride. So we'll see you at the top as always guys. And because since I don't have my tripod or my case for my phone, I won't be able to film on the Dolly Rancher today, but I'll let you see me get onto the Dolly Rancher when it's my turn to get on the ride. We are on the top of the Dolly Rancher and it took us literally 10 minutes to get on top from where we're at. So it didn't take us a complete 20 minutes. We have one person in front of us, or actually two people that's going on the same time in front of us. And then it's been Asia. So as soon as we get on this ride, we're gonna go hit the bear over at the Kissing Tower. So as soon as we go with this ride, we're gonna go with it. So again, 
again, we have one person in front of us, that is us. So we're going to try to hit the van before the pot closes. Hopefully, cross the fingers, and we can get on the van, at least the van, before the pot closes today. We just got the Jolly Rancher. We walked out to the van. And as always, the Jolly Rancher is a lot of fun. We got the second seat to the front, and I was so bad because out of all days for me to forget, my case on tripod, it was today when I wanted to film us in the front so you guys could see. But no fear, we will be here tomorrow. And I'm sure to tell you, we're gonna hit that front seat and we're gonna record it for you. But on that note, we're here at the bear. So I see you as soon as we get off the ride. Cause you know, we can't take our phones or cameras on the ride to record. So I'll see you after I go off the ride guys. See you in a few. We out. <laughs> Not out completely, but we gotta put our phone away to get on the ride. When we got up here, it is a 15 minute wait. There is a quite a little line here, but it shouldn't be long and it shouldn't be a long wait to get on the ride. Meaning that the wait there has two carts that run back to back. So it runs continuously, so it shouldn't be a long wait. They said 15 minutes, but hopefully the wait is shorter so we don't have to wait that long to get on a ride. And maybe, just maybe, we have enough time to get onto the Super Duper Looper. Asia hasn't been on that ride yet. She's scared to get on that ride, but I told her there's nothing to be scared of. So hopefully, we have time to get on so Asia can also experience the Super Duper Looper after we get off the Great Bear. So we'll see you as soon as we get off of the ride. I made it off of the bear. We made it off the great bear. So we are on our way at the park. We thought we had time. I knew we wasn't, but we thought we had at least a little bit of time to hit up the super duper looper, but we didn't make it on time. So this concludes our video for today. <laughs> Cause we didn't get a chance to get on the super duper looper, but we got on the Jolly Rancher remix and we got on the bear. And I told you we got here a little late, so not a little, a whole lot late. So we didn't have much time to get on a lot of rides, but at least we got on two and we're able to make it in the park. So we'd be able to give you that frozen spoon review. Such an awesome treat. And I meet you outside the park <laughs> to end this vlog for right now. Asia's gonna go to the bathroom. We're gonna collect the pictures from the Great Bear and head out the park. We have reached the end of the video. We are here inside the Chocolate Town gift shop by the Chocolatier. I'm gonna end the video in here for the simple fact that Thomas Rhett is on a concert and there's a lot of loud music outside. I didn't feel like getting copyright, but I'm gonna end this video in here inside the Chocolate Town. So we're gonna hit the road, we're gonna head out. Everything's closing and I don't wanna get, you know, pushed out the store, so we're gonna get going. Before we go, I wanna do a little review real quick. I cannot stop talking about the Jolly Rancher Frozen Spoon. That was a great treat. What a great treat that was with all the colors, the different flavors, the green apple, the cherry, the grape, and also the blue raspberry. It was so beautiful, especially with all the little pieces of the Jolly Rancher on top. It was really, really good. That was a great treat. That was a wonderful treat. I love that treat. And tomorrow I will be getting it again because it was that good. But on that note, I'm about to head out. Remember to stay positive, stay motivated, stay inspired, stay inspirational, most of all, stay empowered. Remember to empower somebody else in your life. Never forget to empower your life to be a better you than it was the day before. Remember that every day above ground is an awesome and great day. Every day that we're living here, it's an awesome and great day. Remember guys, to always stay Hershey Park happy and always have a happy Hershey Kisses Day. And until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Always stay talking to my friends. I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.